What is up YouTube, XX Solutions here and today I am bringing you a, another tutorial and this is on how to install Mac OS X Sierra on a virtual machine. So I do have a, another tutorial on my channel on how to install El Capitan on a virtual machine but I thought I'd make the tutorial on an updated version. This tutorial will be quite short and hopefully be useful for anyone looking to install Mac OS X Sierra with everything working. iMessage works, the App Store works, you have internet access, you basically have full access to the Mac OS X operating system and it will be the latest version. If they ever bring another version out in the future I will be sure to update this tutorial. Everything you need will be in the description below so be sure to go ahead and download everything. Without further ado the first thing you're going to want to do is download and install VMware Workstation. Now you can see here we have 12.5 player for Windows 64 bit and Linux also for 64 bit so depending on what operating system be sure to download that and save it to your desired location. You're also also going to want Mac OS X Sierra 10.12 and tools. We have the torrent here as you can see and we also have the direct download via Google Chrome as well so you have a choice if you want to download through torrent or if you don't want to. So go ahead and install VMware Workstation Player. It's a pretty simple process all you got to do is hit next, agree to the terms, you don't have to download the enhanced driver if you don't want to and then hit next to everything else. Next we're going to extract Mac OS X Sierra's WinRAR. This will take a little while so be sure to go ahead and wait for that. Once you have that extracted you'll see a folder like so. Go inside that folder and you'll see final YouTube folder. What we're going to do is go inside the unlocker 208 folder and run win install as administrator. This basically patches uh, VMware to basically run Mac OS X. Once we've done that go ahead and go into the Mac OS X Sierra folder and you'll see a .vmx file. Make sure you edit this with notepad or notepad++ and what we're going to do is hit Control F and look for reflect. Now you should see bald ID dot reflect host equals true. We're going to change that from true to false in all uppercase letters. Hit enter between firmware and bald ID dot reflect host. We're going to go ahead and paste all of these commands like so into the text document. Now this will be linked in the description below so be sure to copy that directly and hit save. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and open a VMware workstation. If you do want to use a license key, be sure to put that. But if you want to use a non-commercial use, then put a fake or legit email address and hit finish. Now we want to open the virtual machine. So go ahead and click open, look for your desired folder and open the .vmx file. If we click edit virtual machine here, you can give it some RAM. I've given it eight gig or RAM. You can adjust this to whatever you like. I've also given it four cores for my processor. But again, you can adjust this to your personal preference. It will run differently depending on how good your computer is. Now we're going to mount the ISO image for VMware tools. So go ahead and choose use ISO image file, hit browse and look for the file called vmtool.iso and click open. This will basically patch all of the screen resolution and stuff like that. It will basically fix everything up. So make sure you run it and click I copied it. That's very important. And then you'll get some removable devices like your USB devices connected to your laptop or PC. You can just go ahead and click OK. Now we want to go to player, removable devices and make sure that you connect the ISO image on startup. And this will basically allow us to install VMware tools and like I said, fix screen resolution and stuff like that. So this bit is pretty self-explanatory. You can just go ahead and choose your desired location and keyboard layout. I basically hit continue and deny access to location. And I also skip the Apple ID on this part as I fix it later on in the video. Agree towards terms and conditions and create an account. Once you've created an account, you can see here that we're going to disk utility just to change the hard drive name from Mac OS X Sierra final by tech reviews. So credits to him for this download, but you can go ahead and go into disk utility and remove final by tech reviews and rename it to whatever you like. So I just left it as a Mac OS Sierra. Go ahead and double click VMware tools, which should be on your desktop and install VMware tools like so and simply click next and continue to the installation wizard. Once we've installed it, it will ask you to restart. So be sure to restart as you cannot do anything else on the Mac. And as you can see here, we've simply restarted. So hit X on VMware tools as the ISO is still mounted and go to devices on the left-hand side and simply 
simply eject that. That will eject the ISO and as you can see the screen resolution is now fixed. It will be a lot smoother depending on what computer you have and if we go full screen and remove the pin from the top of VMware you can see that everything is working perfectly. I also have iMessage up here and open the app store just to show you that it does connect. iMessage works perfectly on this. I've tested it on myself and with a friend. It definitely, definitely works. Obviously the commands fix that and patch all of that. So as you can see, we have the app store in front of us. We can download any apps that we want. Just sign in through your Apple ID and it will work perfectly fine. So if you do want to go ahead and download Xcode for development, that is very awesome for this as well. If we go ahead and go over to Safari, you can also see we have internet access. So this is pretty much everything you need inside of a virtual machine. As you can see here, I'm going to my YouTube channel and it's running perfectly fine. I hope this helps. Again, everything will be linked in the description below. But that's pretty much it, guys. So comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.